All right, today we're going to be taking a look at a free download manager called um, Free Download Manager. And um, this download manager, you can get it on Windows, Mac OS, Android, and Linux. I've been using it for maybe three months now. I'm not really sure, but it's been, I've been using it for a while. And uh, yeah, I have downloaded a lot of heavy files using this download manager, and it has been working very well. So this is what it looks like. I don't have issues like files getting corrupt after downloading. And I like this free download manager for two reasons. Like it does a lot of work, but there are two major reasons why I like the download manager. So the first reason is uh, this feature over here. So with this feature, you can limit the way the download manager uses your internet speed. So let's say you're downloading something and maybe you're having maybe a Zoom or a Google Meet call at the same time. Just to avoid having like issues with your meeting, you can just come here to reduce the speed of the download manager. So if you head over to the settings, like preferences, this option that says um, traffic limits, you can just click on it. And these are the limits that I've set. Now I don't live where I have very fast internet. Like my, I think my current speed is around three megabytes per second. So, so you can come over here to set the speeds, like the speed limit. So this is the download speed. Uh, if you check here, you can see all the options that are available. So for the medium option, I set the download speed to 256 kilobytes per second. And for the low option, I set it to 64. So the upload speed is also here. This is just useful in case maybe you have other people connected to the same Wi-Fi network, then they don't have to worry about like things buffering, like if they are streaming videos on YouTube and all that stuff. So this is the first reason why I like it. The second reason is um, the remote access option. Over here, you can see there's an ID. I'm going to have to blur some things and there's a password as well. So there's also a QR code that you can scan. Obviously, I'll be, I'll be hiding that as well. <laughs> but you can always generate a new password just in case you feel like someone has like access to your the download manager. So with this option, if you're downloading something, let me just see if I can find anything to download. Okay, so I found this website. I just, I'm just going to click this to see if I can download the stuff. Okay, so this shows up and I'm going to click download. So if I go back, you can see it is currently downloading and uh, yeah, my speed is around two megabytes per second. Okay, it's just fluctuating. So I can come here and decide that I want it to just be stuck to 256 kilobytes per second. And as you can see over here, it will not go above 256 kilobytes per second. So that's just what I wanted to show you guys in terms of this. And uh, now let's try the remote access feature. All right, so this is my phone. And uh, if I open the app and then I tap here, then connect to remote FDM, it's going to ask me for the ID. So I'm going to enter the ID now. All right, so after entering the ID, I'll tap OK. So it's going to restart the app. And you can see it is connecting to the, the same, should I say the same account, like the one on my computer. So it takes some time, maybe like two minutes or a minute. Okay, so now it is asking for the password and I'm going to enter it now. All right, so after entering the password, you get that from the software on your computer. Tap OK. All right, so now you can see that uh, for my phone, I have access to whatever my computer is downloading. You don't have to be on the same network. Like right now, my phone and my computer are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, but this is not necessary. Um, I've tried this even while I was away, like away from home. I left my computer downloading something. I think it was around 50 gigs or so. And uh, I was looking at it through my phone to see how far the progress had gone. From here, you can also control what is happening on your computer. So my computer, I'm recording the screen. If I just tap here, I can pause. Okay, I can pause through here on the phone. So if I tap this, it's going to pause. You can see that even on my computer, it has been paused. So if I tap the phone again, it's going to continue playing and it's going to continue downloading. So, you know, I switched it from high speed to medium speed. So I can do that from here on my phone as well. I can go back to fast mode. On the phone, it is called fast mode, but on the computer, it is called high speed. So if I tap fast mode, then you'll see that on the computer, it has changed to this one down here. So high. So now the speed is going to be 
above 256. So those are the two major reasons why I like this download manager. There are lots of other reasons why you may like using it. Number one is free. You don't have to pirate other uh, download managers. I used to pirate um, internet download manager. But now I'm trying to reduce the number of uh, pirated software that I use. Anyways, so yeah, that is basically all I wanted to share in this video. I'm sure if you guys play around with the software, you're going to find more stuff that you like. But, uh, but those are the two things that I wanted to talk about in this video. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.